And we are like just so excited. We done already had a preview, so we ready. We trying to send the message out, invite people to get on. So I'm going to encourage you, if you have scrolled and you done stopped right here, share the love, invite somebody, because today is already lit. All right, it's already, we coming into this fired up. So let me uh, push pause and, and do the right thing and introduce us the right way. Uh, so welcome to P-Win Self-Care Saturday. I am the P-Win founder. I'm your next level success coach. I am best-selling author, international speaker. I'm your girl, Sharice L. Irby. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Oh. yes. Self-Care Saturday with P-Win. We are so glad that you have stopped scrolling because today's subject matter is absolutely paramount to our self-care. Self-care Saturday is all about reminding you phenoms, all of us, that we need to take time out to focus on us. We need self-care and self-care comes in a variety of methods and a, a variety of actions that we take to make sure that we are whole women because whole women win. That's what I'm talking about. And we got to be able to make that happen. So without further delay, I have the team on with me. So I'm going to ask Brianna, I'm going to ask Yolanda to come on, introduce yourself. And then Brianna, I think that you are introducing our speaker and we just gonna get after it because I'm ready. I'm like all fired up. I can't even sit still. You all make sure you get pen, paper. I got my whole little setup right here and we just going in today. Take it away, Brianna. Hey y'all. My name is Bree, Brianna Bree, aka Coach Bree, whatever you want to call me. Your favorite money mindset coach. I'm telling everybody to get on today. I'm like, hey, y'all, get on. I got notifications coming from everywhere because Felicia and I already dropped. She was dropping gems in the room <laughs> before we even got live, before we came on live. So I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. Um, I'm gonna let Yolanda introduce herself, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and introduce Felicia. Does that sound good? Absolutely, okay. absolutely, Phenom. Welcome, 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 everyone. My name is Yolanda Gilliam. I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I am the managing director here uh, for P1 in Phoenix. So um, I'm just like, I don't even want to go any further. We will talk later about who I am and all that and other things that we have here um, in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm just going to go on and turn it over to Bree because I'm excited. If y'all don't know, if y'all didn't see the excitement from Sharice, the excitement from Brianna, and an excitement from me, then uh, I don't know what to tell you, you know what I mean? So y'all just going to have to miss out. But I tell you, come on in, come on in, come on in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and introduce Miss Felicia Jones this morning. I'm so excited to have you here with us. So Thank without, you. Fur without further ado, Miss Felicia is a native of Jackson, Mississippi, raised in Canton. Um, she's a single mom of four beautiful kids. Come on to the four kids, yes. girl. Yes, yes. <laughs> so four beautiful kids, three boys and a baby girl. That's so sweet. She's a published co-author in the book called The Wow Factor. Okay, I see you with Miss Crystal. She had an associate. She has an associate's in business management through Brown Mackey, and a bachelor's in program management. Felicia has been um, a resident of Tulsa off and on for the past eleven years. Being the business owner of Drink Drink to Shrink has helped her to be more confident in her own skin. In her own skin. So the key to her success is her spiritual connection with God, despite life challenges, despite life challenges, she knows um, he's the head of her life. So go ahead. Yes. Yes. 100% head of my life. I love it. I love it. So without further ado, I'll let you go ahead and drop the rest of your gems this morning. 
Well, I wanted to talk to all ladies, any woman that's in the stream right now, it's very important that you guys continue to stay tuned in because the topic today is just having control, taking control back over your life, not allowing our circumstances and situations to bring us to that breaking point to where we forget who we are in life and what we stand for, what we're about and what we're trying to accomplish. I have went through this this past season of trying to rebuild, remold, restore me. Even in the midst of all my greatness, there can be failure. It's how you pick yourself back up. Ladies, take control. Any of you ladies want to chime in on that? We just waiting to hear how you took control okay. so that you can give us the gems for those okay, so, that, you know, may be trying to find out how can I do that? So go ahead and take it away, Felicia. Okay. So the first thing I want to cover is relationship. The, the main thing that most women uh, get lost in doing is, you know, just putting themselves all into a man. And I recently, and I'm, I'm putting it out there, I recently have, have gone through that. Sometimes you find love or you think you found love or even you, you may find yourself selling just to have love. And having that person in your life can distract you from the purpose that God has on your life. And it can bring you to a point to where you lose you. You, you get up in the morning, you can't even look yourself in the mirror. Who am I? I'm not beautiful. I don't feel beautiful. I feel fat. But when, before you met this person, God had you in a skin that was so thick that couldn't nobody tell you who you were because you were one-on-one with God. You was, you know, you didn't have any distractions. You didn't have any, anybody coming in and telling you, you weren't who God was telling you, you were. So here I am today after a, a bad relationship, after losing focus on my business, I'm telling you ladies that if you have goals, stay focused on your goals. Take control of your life by staying focused and um, just being able to manage your life in a way to where if you want to have a companionship, just don't let it take you completely off road, off, you know, to where you lose you. So another thing, um, kids, there's a lot of single mothers. I've been down the road of just being a single mother. And sometimes um, I, I've been doing the single mother thing for the last uh, 10 years. And I've lost myself a few times. I had to pick myself up a few times. I went through depression. I went through just wanting to give up. But God said, no. He said, I have plans for you let me tell y'all something everything that i'm doing today even speaking to you ladies was given to me in the midst of my trials and tribulations back then i didn't know who you ladies were i didn't know what the wow factor was going to be like i didn't know what drink the shrink was going to be like i didn't know what having a degree was going to be like but i knew god had given me a vision of who i was going to be one day and i had to make sure that in the midst of seeking my purpose of who I'm supposed to be that I don't uh, lose sight of that vision. And I continue to try to um, have control over my circumstances so I can stay focused. So, and when I say have control, that means um, ladies, even with finances, finances, you know, going shopping and, and doing all this unnecessary stuff, when you have a, a vision to do things in life, when you have a purpose to do things in life, all that other stuff is not important. God said, I take care of the, your needs. I take care of your needs. So, and so when you, he take care of your needs, you worry about the wants later when you're in position to get what you want. But right now, just make sure everything you need is okay and take care of babies, take care of yourself. That way that allows you to have stability. And when you have stability, you have control over your situation because you're not stressed, you're not worried, you're not out here doing things to get yourself caught up. Another thing is... Um, having control over your mind that that falls with um confidence education um 
you're feeling like you're, you know, just your self worth, you know, uh, the people you involve in your life, family, friends, you know, have control in the area. Just because people are related to you, don't mean they have authority to come in, distract, disrupt, and tear down what God is building. I have, let me tell you something. I have a mother that I don't speak to, and that's because I am not in that season to a. a I'm not in that season to where I am allowing people to come in and disrupt my happiness. My joy, my happiness, my peace is way more important. It, it costs more than anything that I have in my life because when you take away my joy, when you take away my peace, when you take away my happiness, you are killing me. And I refuse to let you kill me. And I'm not going to kill myself. So what I would do is, I will leave that person in God's hand, let that person continue on with their life, but I'm going to keep pushing for Felicia. And, you know, with friends, you know, you got friends, everybody don't even know how to, um, how to, how to, how, what's the word I'm looking for? Evaluate their friends. You got friends in your life. They're smiling in your face. They pushing for you in your face, but in, in behind your back, they're tearing you down. When, when you know, sometimes just like with friends in relationship with men, God give us signs. Don't ignore the signs. When you see people are there to, um, to attack you in certain areas or, or, or bring you down to a level that uh, God has brought you from, remove those people. If you know that you are not a gambler anymore and you got a friend that gambles, remove that friend. If you know you're not a drinker anymore, you got a friend that drinks, remove yourself, remove that friend. Don't involve those type of people in your life because what you're doing, you're leaving a door open for distraction and uh, destruction, uh, distraction and uh, what's the other word I'm looking for? Uh, destruction, distraction and destruction because we have to know ourselves well enough in these areas to know that this is not for me. Ladies, <laughs> how, how, how do you ladies feel about that? As far as, as, far as just having, having people, you know, some of us don't know how to get rid of toxic people. You're on mute, Brianna. I said, that's good, girl. Everything that you're saying, I feel like, I think, I can't remember if I heard Sharice say this or if I heard somebody else say this, but you're either about to go into a season, you're in a season, or you're coming out of a season, right? And this is a season that I've just come out of. So everything you're saying is just like, I'm like, yes, sis, yes. The boundaries that you are creating, like, that is, that's vital for your sanity. So I, I'm like, yes, honey, come on with the, with the parents, with the, the family, the friends, the every children, you're like my spouse, like all of the things I understand boundaries yeah. are vital to your sanity. It's yeah. important that we spend time with ourselves. The better, you know, you, the better you have control over everything in your life. It's like people that people that are lost within here, within themselves, they're lost here and they're lost out there. Find who you are here. Know who you are here and do what you are about out there. You hear me? Because, and don't let people change you. Don't let people change you. Let me tell you something. I had a friend in my life a couple of years ago that told me I was weird. You know why she told me I was weird? She told me I was weird because I was too nice. I'm from Mississippi, honey. We love on each other. We the, the neighbor down the street, come on. We can have a barbecue. We got a block party. Let's, let's, you know, we love on each other. And what I noticed here being in Tulsa is that there's not enough love. There's not enough support. There's not enough sister. Do you need me? I'm here to help you. There's not. It's more of, Oh, she got this going on. Mm, let me see what I can do. And I'm going to knock her. But I don't need you to knock me. Sometimes collaborating, 
working together is more powerful than you standing by yourself. So as I work more and more each and every day with beautiful women like yourself, I feel empowered. I feel like the sky is the limit. I feel like I have control. I am standing in my now. I am owning it. And I am telling you who I am and what I'm about. And if you don't respect it, if you don't like it, don't check it. Just move around. I love it. I love it. I'm excited. I, like, I feel your passion. So it's making me excited. I'm like, yes, girl. Come on. I mean, we got to, we as women, we got to speak it even in the way we dress. If you don't feel like nothing in the morning, get up and look like something. Don't look like what you're going through. Because when you look like what you're going through, honey, it's just going to continue to wear on you to where you so lost, you can't take control back. I have had mornings to where I got up and I'm going to tell y'all like this. I've had two brain surgeries. I hurt every day, all day. I'm hurting as we speak right now. The half of my face um, literally feels like it's on fire all day, every day. But you didn't know that. You won't know that. Because I have learned, I have been living with this for four years now. And recently I was told that I have a cyst on my brain. But I will not let the enemy take control over my life. At one point in my life, I was getting up every morning just wearing my, what the doctors was telling me. Just You could tell I was wearing it because I had the dark circles under my eyes. I, I'm, I'm around here. I'm letting my energy just, I, I'm, I just feel like crap. But then one day I got up and looked myself in the mirror when I heard Steve Harvey said, uh, your day, he said, Steve Harvey said, he said, when you get up and look in the mirror, your day is going to go how you tell yourself it's going to go when you look in the mirror. So I thank God for hearing it at that very moment because that changed me. When I got up every morning, I brushed my teeth. I looked myself in the mirror and I said, girl, you pretty. You better dress up like you pretty. You better get yourself together like you, like you about something. Because if you know your self-worth, you're going to want to get up and dress yourself in that self-worth. You're not going to want to get up and, and look like crap and say, but God, I know if, if okay, let's, for example, here we go. You headed to the store. You got your hair bunning on. You got your house shoes on, but you headed to the store and a stranger meets you. What they going to judge you in is in that now because you're wearing your situation. Don't wear your situation, wear your blessings, wear your happiness, wear your peace, wear your joy, no matter where you are, no matter where you headed, anybody that runs into you gonna know, I know she happy. I know she at peace because she is just glowing. And, 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 and what we women fail to realize is that even that short trip to the store can change uh, can change your life because whether you run into a stranger and, 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 and you may see a nice guy that, you know, you single, you may see a nice guy you trying to talk to. Well, he going to judge you like she ain't even got herself together. You may miss out on your husband like that girl, get yourself together. Because if you go to that store, God may be sending your very husband and you need to have yourself together. Or you go to that store, God may be sending your very, uh, next, a boss or some, somebody you may run into just saying hi that may be ready to hire you or anything because I mean you never know somebody may want to have something to do with your business somebody may want to be into who you are but they can't get to who you are because you're dressed like you're going through so take control over your looks your situation your kids your education your finances because you are what you make yourself out to be. And I can only read what you show me. Yes, I totally agree. I do not like to see people in their pajamas and head wraps and stuff like that going to the store because like you said, you never know who that next connection is going to be um, that you make that could actually change your life for the better. 
So, girl, you is dropping gems. Keep on going. <laughs> Keep on going. But, you know, um, also with everything that I have gone through, um, God has shown me that he could change things in 24 hours. He could change things in two hours. So I have learned to walk with this confidence that, you know, it took me, you know, you hear people say, everything going to be all right. God going to take care of God. But you know what? Our, the, our changes in our situation is as strong as our faith. If you have little faith. And I know they say have faith as small as a must tea and God will change it. But no, honey, you got to have faith as big as this earth you got to have faith beyond yourself you got to have faith beyond your circumstances your faith got to be so strong that your now is changing you don't have to wait tomorrow you don't have to wait next week you don't have to wait next year your right now has changed because your faith and i'm getting chills y'all i'm getting chills because i have experienced god change my everything in hours and i thank him and i praise him and um we women just need to stay connected we need to stay connected we need to recognize who is our higher power we need to give him all the glory we need to give him all the praises and we need to let him be head of our house and we need to let him lead us and guide us in areas that we get lost but we also need to know how to be submissive to God, not to, not to just a man, but to God. Let him take control. Let him show us how. So that's just, that's just what my, my season is right now. That's, that's what that was on my heart to share with you ladies this morning. If you have anything that you're ex inspiring to do, that you feel like you may not even have the strength to do, or you may feel like there's no hope. Keep praying and keep pushing because I am a living witness. God will change your past, your now, and make your future such a, a beautiful rose that blossom before. Listen, I, I like to write poems. And I, I remember trying to write this poem to inspire myself. And I was just telling myself, you know, wake up, queen. Wake up. Wake up, queen. Because there's a lot of y'all sleep. You don't know your potential. You're not trying to reach the, the, the in-depthness of yourself to know what you're capable of. Take control over you by knowing what you like, what you don't like, what you want, what you don't want, what you're willing to do and what you ain't willing to do in this life. And don't settle for nothing because God did not put us in position to settle. He made us for greatness and you have to know the greater that's in you. Ladies, I am enjoying my own conversation with you guys. <laughs> we enjoying it too, girl. I, girl, we enjoying it too. I'm, I love it. Like, I know I keep saying, I'm like, I love it. But like, as I'm inviting people, I'm like, I don't care if you watch the replay. Like, I'm like texting people, like, make sure you watch it. Because, I mean, I work with a lot of women, you know, and I love how, um, I'm just interject a little bit, if you don't mind. No problem. Um, I, I love how you said, like, kind of in the beginning, you're like, you know, you, you, I don't know if you're like currently in the season. I have like kids running around here. Oh, no, know. it's okay. I got kids too. It's okay. <laughs> but, um, like, you, sometimes you're in, a, you're in a space to where you don't understand why, like, people are the way that they are. But then once God removes you kind of out of that environment, he places you in an environment with people that are like-minded. So you begin to attract what God has placed on the inside of you. You know what I mean? So like the people that are no longer, you know, they're no longer, um, they, they don't understand your light. They don't understand what God has put on the inside of you. So they say you're weird because you're too nice. 
I'm yeah. extremely nice. Everybody, hey, I'm so nice. My friends get mad because I make friends everywhere I go. They're like, why do you talk to everybody? I don't know. I just do. You know, that's just how I am. But I understand the environment because I like, I live in the hood. I, I get it. I was the nicest person there. You know what I mean? Like, but whenever I grew out of that environment, God mm -hmm. began to place people around me that that were attracted to what he put inside of me. So just be, be excited for that season. Be oh excited, yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Listen, <laughs> I have learned to own my weird. If it's weird to you, baby, that means you are not of my caliber. You don't deserve to be in my circle. Because the people that know who I am and know how I am, that accept who I am, they are the type of people I want to surround myself with because they support me, Felicia Jones. They are about my person. I was just in the meeting with the ladies the other night and I was just being silly and I was just being me. And you know what? They laughed. They said, oh, we can't wait, you know go on road trips because girl you're gonna keep it locked that's who I am I am I've had too much hurt in my life to not smile I've had too much pain in my life to not enjoy my now I've had too much of all of that and I refuse to give it any more of my time I refuse to give it any more of my energy I refuse to let me die and I will continue to say that because negative energy kills you. It kills you. So I am all about the positive. I'm all about loving on who I am because the more you love you, people will see the love you have for you and they can't help but to love you because you love you. And everything that you see for yourself, people can't help but to see it for you because you speak it. You walk it, you, you, you put it out in the atmosphere and you let it be known. This is what I'm about. Hello? So, um, and, and another thing I was going to say was, um, goodness, I, I got lost for words, but it was one more thing. You know, um, I have one daughter and it's very important that I take care of me and set an example for her. Because if I fail me, I fail her. My daughter life, we say we love our kids, but if you love your kids enough, change who you are for the better. I moved here out of a, a domestic situation. And, and I'm just being honest, because it's, it's gonna come out in about, as, you know, uh, I moved here out of a domestic situation. You know, I was stabbed in the head. You know, I had to have brain surgery because I had severe nerve damage. And um, that situation changed my life because um, I went through worlds of depression. I, I moved here with, uh, with three kids at the time, just the bags that we could get on the bus with. And... I told God, I said, God, if you just connect me with women or connect me with the resources to help me pick myself up, I promise I will be the best woman that I could be in life. It didn't happen right off bat. It didn't happen uh, and, and everything is just perfect. I had rocky roads. I had to fall down and get back up. I had to you know, realize that I'm higher than, than this situation. I even with the friends, the men, the, the people I crossed coming into my life, they prejudged me. I had a man tell me uh, one day, he said, you know, you a beautiful lady. You take good care of your kids. But see, you just don't have a degree and you don't have your own place. And and uh, I, would, I would love to date you, but you just don't have it together like the women that I'm used to dating. Well, baby, he little did he know God has some stuff stored in me that today, I'm going to tell y'all, that same man approached me a couple of months ago. And you know what I did? I went down that checklist of, hey, I'm everything that you won't have. I'm everything that you didn't have. And I'm everything that you thought I wouldn't going to be. Because I have control. And I'm not going to let you slide back in. 
because you're not worth my time and my attention now. You hear me? So that's what control looks like. That's what control is all about. Even the way you, you know, being in your own skin, you, the way, not just wearing your clothes, but ladies, watch what you eat. Watch how much you take in. I had got, I let the depression overtake me and I was just eating my feelings away. Got big. And then drink the shrink came about, you know, and, and, and I'm, and I'm constantly, you know, getting fine on y'all, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> but I, you know, I realized that the bigger I got, the more control my situation was taking over me because I was eating it away. And I thought I was eating it away, but it was eating me away. So here I am today and I'm getting rid of it. And you can tell I'm getting rid of because this weight is just coming off and, and his face is just getting all slimmer and I'm just shining in my own way. And guess what? Can't no woman, can't no man, can't nothing. Circumstances, money, even my kids can't take it away because I got control. You know what, Felicia? I don't even, I'm speechless. Number one, to hear how well you speak and to, to have no worries about telling your story and then to find out that you have you know been stabbed in the brain brain surgeries have a tumor all these things and then you still can smile through just that right that yes, right there actually is enough for anybody to be like you know what if she can do it so can i then to go through the things that you've gone through, the trials, the tests, the tribulations, and you still at the other end have such a great testimony. So you not only touch the person who's gone through depression, you not, you know, gone hits a person that's gone through, you know, some mental illness. You not only hit the person that, you know, feel like, oh my gosh, I am overweight. How can I get past this? You know, you actually spoke to the whole woman the whole man, the whole child, the whole whoever needs to be able to hear this. So ladies, I'm gonna tell y'all, y'all need to share this with everyone that you know, all your friends, your family, because we never know what people are actually going through, sometimes by the outside of their book or the, you know, looking at you, I would never known that you had any of those things. I would have never known that you was like sitting there eating yourself away, you know, surviving your you know your domestic violence and being able to still show your kids the strength that no matter where you are you can be an overcomer so i love this i love this thank you so much um how can people get in contact with you like you yeah. know, so tell us because they need to follow you if nothing else, just to see if you have a daily affirmation that you put out there, because something that you're going to say is going to touch somebody each and every day that you open up your mouth. Well, I'm on Facebook, you guys, under Felicia Jones. Um, the, I have an uh, email, which is Felicia's Drink to Shrink or, or in business with Felicia at gmail.com. But ladies, you can, you can reach out via Facebook. I'm I'm such a humble person. I speak to anybody. I love on anybody. You have to just be in a season of allowing somebody to love on you or allowing to someone to help teach you or lead you or give you advice or, or um, just, just be in a place of acceptance and allowance. Another thing I want to say is that there's a young lady out there and it's on my heart to say it is that there's another young lady out there that's probably going through the system you know, or in the system uh, or coming out of the system. However, I was a foster kid from the age six till I, I was emancipated, um, 21. Uh, I went through a lot with that. I, I, I witnessed a best friend who also grew up in the system with me get murdered because we she selected, we both was going through domestic violence. And, but her husband, I got stabbed but her husband, and it's not funny, it's just that it's crazy that we were going, we were both, we grew up in the same system. We went in the same foster homes. We went two different directions, but ended up in the same place of domestic violence. And her, her outcome was the fact that she lost her life. 
I nearly lost mine, but God left me here to, to help the next woman, to help encourage the next woman. Don't let your circumstances change what God had planned for you. I was that young girl who used to walk around with my Bible every day. And I had spiritual battles because the enemy knew what God had for me to do. The enemy knew that this little girl was going to be this great woman one day. So you have to protect yourself, protect yourself, love yourself enough to protect yourself from all harm and all weapons formed against you because none of them shall prosper. God told me that long time ago and I'm watching it work out. Alicia, I absolutely, I'm going to jump in here. I absolutely love your swag, Phenom. I am like falling in love with your swag, your energy. I'm absolutely loving it. I, I, you just touched on words that I wrote down when you started talking about protect. I was going into this moment because you almost started stirring up like this preaching me. You know, I'm a minister, and when you hear good preaching, it makes you want to preach, right? It makes you want to go in. You like, okay, where's the mic? Let me let me get in <laughs> on this because I feel my help coming on, and you just start going in. But as you were talking, there's a couple things that I heard because I had to make some notes. Uh, there's a couple things that I heard, and, and right at the end, you just started using the word that God was giving me. But the first thing, when we talk about taking control, what I hear clear from you is to also be intentional. Taking control is being intentional about how I present myself, intentional about who I allow in my top five, intentional about where I go and who I let come with me, intentional about how I live my life. And when I'm intentional, then I yeah. begin to protect that which God has placed me a steward over. I protect me. I protect my peace. I heard you say that, Felicia. You were describing it. I protect my peace. You can't just come on up in here and interrupt my peace. Who do you think you are? You didn't give me this peace. This peace came from my God. And because he bestowed this peace on me, I refuse to allow you to take it away. So I'm going to protect my peace. I'm yeah. going to protect the vision the dream, the baby. See, so many of us leave the dream and the vision uncovered, right? Because we get distracted by the situations and circumstances in our life. We get distracted by the domestic abuse situation. We get di distracted by the lack of finances. We get distracted by being a single parent. We get distracted by all of these situations and circumstances that come our way. And it takes our intentionality off of the vision and the dream and we leave the baby unprotected and really that's what the enemy wants to get to the enemy wants to get to the vision and the dream because yeah. that's what you're birthing that's what you're releasing into the atmosphere that's what's going to allow women to have breakthroughs that's what's going to allow the yoke to come off that's what's going to allow people to advance and build their legacy. So the enemy wants to get to the dream and the vision and we leave it uncovered. We, we don't protect it because of what we're going through. And then the last point I'm gonna make, cause I'll just keep on, you know, going, I'll write this out and, and I'll preach it somewhere y'all. Uh, the other thing that I heard you say, you started talking about faith and you were talking about having faith the size of a mustard seed and how we need to increase our faith and have great faith. And you are so right. What I wanna reiterate on that is sometimes when we're in our darkest place, we don't see the big picture. We can't mm -hmm. even think on a grand scale because we've been so beaten down, because we've been so distracted, because our situations have taken over us. And what I love about the scripture that you quoted, Talisha, is that even in those dark times, even in your darkest time, that mustard seed of faith will get you through because it'll continue to grow and it'll continue to evolve and it'll continue to expand. And before you know it, <laughs> you're speaking what you seek until you see what you said because that muscle began to build, right? Yes. So yes. what we have to learn how to do is be positioned to be able to uh, activate our faith. 
Say that again. Position. We position in order to be able to activate our faith. And so in activating our faith, we're saying, God, even though I can't trace you, I trust you. And because I trust you, I have faith that my situation will get better. Because I trust you, even though I can't trace you, I, I don't know where you're at, God, because I'm in this place. I'm being beaten down. My body is wrapped with pain. I'm having brain surgeries. I've been diagnosed with cancer. I am, uh, I'm in the midst of this eating disorder. Depression has overtaken me. All I'm dealing with grief. I'm dealing with all of these situations. So I can't even trace you right now, God, but I trust you. Yes. I trust you. I am activating my faith because I trust you. I'm activating my faith and I'm believing in a total healing. I'm believing that any tumors in my brain will be shrunk. I'm believing that this veil of depression will be lifted. I'm believing that not only will my finances be restored, but that you will open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that I have no room to contain. That, that I, I will have so much financial abundance that I will be funding and blessing, blessing others in their dreams and their visions and what they're having to make happen because I'm walking in overflow. Yes. I'm activating my faith that every everything that the canker worm, everything that the enemy took from me in this season that you are restoring it a hundredfold. I'm activating my faith. I'm in position to activate my faith. And I'm trusting you, God. And that that's what I hear. When we activate our faith, we take control. And it's not that we're taking control because, you know, uh, we, we just uh, conceded or we're just so full of ourselves. We're taking control because we trust God yes. and God created us to be dynamic. He created us to be phenomenal. What does the word say? He created us to be the head and not the tail. He created us to be the lender and not the borrower. He created us to dominate. He created us to uh, be the salt of the earth. He created us to be the queens and the kings that we are. He created us with greatness in mind. He said, you can do greater. You Look, if you think it or imagine it, you can do even more than that. Yes, yes. And, and so that's all the things that I heard in you, Felicia. <laughs> It and I put it in, I put it in my words, but I, I heard you, Queen. I heard you, Phenom. And I agree with what Yolanda said and what Brianna said. I mean, anybody who is watching this, if you're watching live, go ahead and share this. If you're watching the replay, share this video. I share this video because even if it's not for you, I promise you, I guarantee you that there's somebody on your thread, on your social media timeline, that they're going through what you talked about, Felicia. I promise you that there's somebody whose child is in foster care, in the foster care system. There's uh, uh, somebody who is actually still in the foster care system. There's somebody who has fallen into depression. There's somebody struggling with eating disorders. There's somebody struggling with abuse. And it doesn't even have to be physical. It can be emotional. It can be financial. There's so many forms of abuse. There's somebody who they just, they don't see their way out. There's somebody who's living behind a mask, right? They're getting on every day and, and they're getting up every day and they're putting on the lipstick. They're doing all the measures, but underneath that, they're in pain. And today we want to speak to you. Today we're talking to you because we see your pain. Felicia sees your pain. She's been talking to you for the last 30, 40 minutes. She's been talking to you. We want you to take control. We want you to rise up out of your situation, out of your mindset. 
We want you to rise up. Sometimes it's our mindset that's holding us down. We want you to rise up out of that mindset and take control, be intentional and protect what God has given you. He has placed you over the vision, over the dream, over your child, over your business, whatever it may be, whatever gift he's given you. Activate your faith and wake up. I love when you said that. Look, we Alicia, uh, she was following us on, on Facebook and she said, I can't sleep on me. Some of us are sleeping on us. And you yeah. just put out a wake up call, Felicia. You just said, wake up, get up, wake up. Who was that, um, Yolanda? Wake up, wake up. Was that uh, Teddy Pendergrass, Marvin Gaye? Somebody, they, they had a whole song. Wake up, wake up. It's time to wake up. Uh, yeah, wasn't yeah. it Marvin? Wake up, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, sleeping in bed. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Right there, right there. We got to wake up because we sleeping on us. We get mad about other people sleeping on us. Yes. Sleeping on ourselves. Yes. I told y'all, y'all should have just, I should have, let me go back on mute. So I'm going to go back on mute. And uh, Felicia, I want to tell you, I told, I love your swag. I love your message. I love the mandate, the anointing. I love the gifting. You're just all things absolutely wonderful you've gone through all that you've gone through for a time such as this um i am i am so glad that you're connected with p win that you're connected with wow that you are just you know living your best life despite despite what doctors may speak and what people may speak girl you are living your best life and i'm loving that uh, I applaud you for that. You keep on living, living life just to the fullest. Uh, Brianna, Yolanda, I, I'm going back on mute. I ain't saying nothing else. I'm gonna let y'all <laughs> have final words, wrap up uh, in about like 15 minutes. We got our online open house for Little Rock, Arkansas. And so I'm gonna try to shift my mindset because Felicia, you just got me in preach mode. <laughs> Right. She just took us to a whole nother level. Like, um, we need to bring you out here to Arizona, though, really, for Please do. to speak on one of the engagements that we have here, um, because people need to hear your story worldwide, um, whether it be in person, online, like your book, the whole nine yards. So keep just doing what you're doing. Bless you, Phenom. Um, we are so glad to have you on with us. So guys, as you heard, Felicia Jones, she's on Facebook. Um, you know, you can be able to see this video. If you're watching this video uh, during the replay, go ahead and put in the comments for us, hashtag replay. So this way we know that you all have actually been able to see this. Um, and then also we want you guys to go ahead and follow us. Um, we do have, um, go to mypwin.org mypwen.org and you'll be able to find out all the different things that p Wen is actually up to um as sharice had mentioned we do have an open house here in less than 15 minutes um it's an online open house at little rock arkansas for the chapter there then tomorrow we have another one on um in uh toronto um it's also going to be at 2 p.m actually so but the, the thing is you guys need to actually register in order to get that um to get the link to join us. And then a couple other things that we have, we want you to go ahead on there and be able to uh, subscribe to our blog. This way you'll be able to find all the different things that's happening, um, new things that we have going on. And you know what? I just heard through the grapevine, through my email that is, that P1 also has a YouTube channel. So, you know, again, we are sitting here, we're doing things because we wanna reach women right where you guys are. So that's the thing is we're equipping women for the uh, for women to be stronger in their future. So again, thank you ladies for joining us. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back over here to Bree and we're gonna close this out so we can get ready for our open house. So we'll talk to you guys later. Yes, so I'm just gonna close out. Um, thank you, Felicia. I can't wait to connect with you because our stories are so similar. I lost my best friend. I was in a domestic abuse relationship, escaped. Lost my best friend in 2012 from the same situation. Um, I can't wait to talk to you because I just feel the connection there. But next, next time we meet, it will be August 21st, 1 p.m. 
Central Standard Time. Don't be like me and ask every time if it's Eastern, Central, or Mountain Time. It will be 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, we're also going to start back meeting twice a month um, in September. So once this crazy summer, summer season is over, so September 4th and September 18th, we're going to meet, um, and October 2nd and October 16th. So we can't wait to see you guys in August at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Always back here in this place. Um, you need to close with anything. And just really, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Just really quick. We also have our paint and sips. We have one in Phoenix and we also have one in Tulsa. The one in Phoenix is going to be August 12th. And then the one in Tulsa is August 21st. Ladies, come on in, come on in. As you see how we having fun here online, imagine how much fun we're going to have in person. Um, so oh, yeah. go on and register, exactly. Go on and register so this way we can be able to just love on you guys and just have fun, um, you know, let our hair down and let's paint and sip some orange juice or whatever, but yeah. <laughs> but all right, so you know what, Felicia, do you have any last words for us as we leave this up? This yes, I just want to tell you ladies that um, it's a blessing to get to talk to you guys this morning. Um, you guys, it has inspired me even more. Just, you know, you know when things are uh, natural because it, it just has a natural flow and the connections are natural. You don't have to fake it. You don't have to, to, to force anything. And the connection with you ladies this morning is natural. And I thank God for it. We appreciate you. Yes, we do. Love you too, uh, Fino. All right. Well, I love you ladies so much. I have to go to Oklahoma City. <laughs> <laughs> In 10 minutes, I'm going to start driving there. <laughs> all right. Well, have it's safe travels. And... Self-care Saturday. Thank you yeah. all. Blessings, yeah. blessings. And look, let's keep making greatness happen. See you all later. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.